really worried about the paint on the paintbrush and where it's going on the canvas. I don't, don't tend to pay attention to where my fingers are going. I could be trying to paint something and my fingernail will scratch the paint um, from something else, but I don't really realize it because I'm not. Uh, when I paint, I just brush on the canvas. That's all I'm focused on. Um, I kind of forget that the fingers are even there. Before the accident, I took no interest in art. I would actually throw away my art projects before I got home and tell my mom that they broke at school. It means everything to me as a recreation therapist that John is, sees himself as an artist now. I don't have a grip to grab things. Um, it's not just, it's not as easy to just grab a, grab a thing of paint, tip it over and dump it out. I have to realize that my mouth is now an appendage. I have to use my mouth to get the bottle open, I have to use the mouth, my mouth to squeeze the paint out and um, I've ended up with paint in my eyes, paint covering my face. Knowing that that's a huge part of his life now is why I do this job. One day at Craig, um, Robin had me paint something and it was the, I found it's one of the best ways that I can forget about the injury, forget about the world kind of and just express what I want on canvas or whatever I choose to paint. Whether you're quadriplegic or not, being a part of this experience, you may find yourself again after injury, or you may find something new in yourself, whether it be therapeutic recreation or the Craig experience as a whole. It wasn't until I got to Craig that they actually helped me get my life back, and that's I wish that it could happen for anyone that ever gets in. I wish Craig was big enough that anyone that ever got injured would go to Craig and have the same experience that I had. Now I can't seem to stop painting. People have to beg me to stop. I've noticed that even eating food, it's a lot easier. It's easier to write. Um, and I think it's all to do with the strength of using my shoulder and using my arm and hand to paint. Just over and over again. I think it's like a workout therapy in itself. Craig is the type of place where if you think you're at the end of the road and you have nowhere else to go and you can't do anything else, that Craig's doors are always open for anything and accepting anyone and helping with things from rehab, working out, or um, recreational stuff or even just to go and talk to other patients, talk to other people that are going there daily. Um, it's a place that if I could live at, I would. Without the donations Craig received, no way I would have the life that I live now. I wouldn't even know what the meaning of life is.